Welcome back to Houston Life. All right, are you craving easy, inexpensive, and quick weeknight dinners that won't have you running to a fast food restaurant? Yes, you are. Tasty meals with a plan for the whole family is what culinary instructor and owner of Smart in the Kitchen, Marsha Smart, is all about. She recently stopped by, and you're definitely going to want to take some notes. This is right up my alley because I have to tell you, there have been multiple times that I've gone like three and four times to the grocery store in a week because I just didn't plan well. I know, it saves your life, honestly. Like that dark cloud at three o'clock, four o'clock, that's like, what am I making for dinner will go away if you make a meal plan and you're organized for the week. And that's what I love. It's all about kind of family meals that aren't gonna break the bank and they're gonna yes. taste good too. Yes. That's my main priority is it tastes it tastes good, it's healthy. I'm trying to get enough vegetables into my children without them, you know, revolting at dinner time. So I wanted to taste good and be easy and simple. And everybody loves a stir fry. My kids are young, they're seven and 10, and I can get them to eat that as well. But you're saying I can make this at home now. This Very is easy. So simple. This will save your life okay. on a busy day. Just keep this in your freezer. It's stir fry mix from Trader Joe's, it's organic. I like to throw in an extra bag of broccoli because my family is a big fan. And then this is just white rice. It's organic jasmine rice that you can keep in the freezer. And you microwave it for a minute and 30 seconds okay. and it's done. And this is all we need here are these two different so bags. This is what is in your freezer. And then you add ginger, garlic, soy, and some gin, some green onions. And okay. it's ready to go. And that's what we have here. So I'm gonna give it a try. And um, if you want, you didn't add any protein to this, but if you wanted you to, can. you can. And that's in this recipe is on my website, um, Smart in the Kitchen, and I tell people in the recipe you can add chicken and saute it before you add the vegetables mm -hmm. or flank steak and then add everything else in. That's really good. You know what? Sometimes, sorry, talking with my mouth full, not supposed to do that, but sometimes I tend to overcook a frozen vegetable. Yes. How long are we put cooking this in the so pan? Just, it really is 25 minutes start to finish and you can throw everything in the hot saute pan frozen and then the second it softens you add the liquid okay. and as soon as it's warmed through you take it off the heat. I love that. So okay fast. so this would be a Monday dinner. Yes. Quick veggie stir fry. By the way I think you're saying that this is um, what is the total price for this? It's like $12? Yes, it's so inexpensive. Oh my gosh. And frozen vegetables are really high quality because they're flash frozen. They keep all their nutrients. So do not feel bad about using frozen vegetables. I love it. Okay, point taken. Let's move on to this because I think this is going to be my new friend. You're going to love pot. This. this. So the Instant Pot, I was afraid of okay. when I first bought it. I was afraid it was going to explode because it's basically a pressure cooker. And I finally got on the bandwagon. It is a lifesaver for those days that you're working all day. You need to throw something in and have it be finished in 10 minutes time. 10 minutes, people. Okay. So this is our Tuesday dinner, and this is Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. So we already put our chicken in. I okay. put in store-bought salsa verde and a little bit of cumin and garlic powder, and you're good to go. All right. So, so the let's chicken's check done. It out. So it's all done. It's going to be nice and steamy. Oh, yeah. And I use chicken thighs. They're full of flavor. They have a little bit more fat. You can use chicken breast. I have people that prefer chicken breast. And then I usually just use two forks to kind of break this up, but we can keep it chunky today. Okay. Um, and you just poured that salsa verde in there and yes. followed the instructions. Gave it a little stir. Okay. Um, and I will fill one of these for you. Awesome. I'm always up nice to Nice and warm. It. So you add it into the tortillas. Yes. And then I see you have some chopped cilantro here and some yes. pico on the side. And really you can add whatever taco fillings you like. Like you can add cheese, you can add pickled jalapenos, okay. you can add guacamole or just chopped tomatoes. This makes it super easy. I bought store-bought pico and store-bought guacamole. I do that all so the time. So <laughs> this is all of 10 minutes start to finish. I love that. Okay, I'm very excited to try. Okay. Um, you're saying that this is um, two minutes to assemble, 10 minutes to cook, serves four to six, and it's yes. $23 to feed four to six Putting people. a little garnish on there for you. Okay, do you have a napkin? Sure. I do. I have nice one handy. Juicy. Okay. Here we go. And this is a great thing to make for a crowd too because you can double or triple the recipe. Mm. 
And if you have leftovers, you can freeze them and use oh, them wow. in taco bowls or salads down the road. That flavor is so bold. Oh my gosh. It's okay. It's so easy and so good. Mm -hmm. And you can use red salsa if you prefer. You do not have to stick to the green salsa verde. I love that, Marcia. And by the way, people may recognize you because you're in the cooking school at Central Market. Yes, I teach there and I teach out of my house too. Okay. And then we're going to give information on where she can find the blog. Okay. okay. So now we're moving on to Wednesday. And this is pesto with yes. a little bit of extra veggies, green stuff in there. It's pesto with a twist. So I've added kale. You can add arugula or spinach, whatever you have on hand to use up. Basil, of course, pine nuts. And I've added a little bit of avocado, which gives it a creamy consistency. Okay. And it's delicious. And sometimes pesto can be a little extra fatty, right? So you're kind of... Well, and avocado is a healthy is good fat. fat. And it will keep you full. It's good brain fat. It's good for you. Are you going to pulse the pesto for us while I eat, or well, do you want to? Well, I was just going to show you okay, everything let's, how that's do we do it? it? So you really just, you don't have to worry too much about this recipe. You don't have to chop everything because the food processor mm. is going to do it for you. Delicious. So I just peel the garlic and throw it in. Okay. Throw in the pine nuts. No need to toast those ahead of time. Okay. Throw in the Parmesan. These I do like to take off the stem just right, because it's a, little rough, right? it's a little thick. So pull these off. And this and is then, something that you can freeze the extra pesto too, or no? You can. Um, it never really lasts that long in okay. my house, but you can make a double recipe. We put it on turkey sandwiches. My kids put it on grilled chicken. How about a pizza? A pizza would be delicious. Oh my gosh, um, I love that. So we add it to almost everything. Okay, so now that's really, the lemon. Okay. Yes, you just add everything in, and I pulse this before I add the olive oil, and then just always taste everything when you're done and decide if if you want more lemon juice, you okay. want more salt or pepper, um, and you're good to go. And again, all these recipes, we're going to tell you on how to find those coming up on the website. Yes. I have to say, my mouth dropped because I got something in my freezer already that you're going to recommend. And this is <laughs> Thursday, turkey bolognese yes. from Trader Joe's. I so, use this. This is a lifesaver. So I don't know what it is about Thursday night, but I work all week. I cook all day. I cook at night. By Thursday night, you're I'm over it. done. I'm about to lay down on the kitchen <laughs> yes. floor and take up. So the turkey bolognese, I wanted to add a little bit of extra vegetables. So I add a cup of the frozen rice cauliflower from Trader Joe's. Okay. And I add a cup of chopped up spinach that I buy at oh, Trader great. Joe's. It's organic spinach I buy in a bag. And I add a cup of this. This is my favorite marinara from Trader Joe's. It has nothing bad in it. It's organic. It's fresh. So I just warm it up in the pan. It tastes, takes all of five minutes. Okay. I love it. And I love that you served it with zoodle zucchini noodles. Yes. And then real quickly, we have about 30 seconds left, Marcia. What is this on the end? So this is just a sheet pan sausage and peppers with extra broccoli, some mustard on the side, one dish to clean when you're done. Super easy. Oh my gosh. Okay. All of these meals were about, they certainly were under $20. Yes. So these were great ideas. And uh, to keep up with Marcia, you can follow her on Instagram. Also check out smartinthekitchen.com. I know you're going to get at least one more follower Thank from me. Thank you so much. It was so much. great to meet you. Love meeting you. And uh, all these ideas, I love it. We'll be right back.